Yo, what's up? This is Mike. I'm V, and this is the Mike and V Body Building Show. Back at the Mecca. We're having issues today. I don't know. Oh, it's episode 20, right? Yeah, it is episode 20. I don't know. 20. I'm used to doing an interview after our training, so I think I'm a little amped up. Uh, yeah, you might be a little bit excited today. Well, guys, welcome back to the show. We have uh, one of Phoenix's own local uh, IFBB Pro. Fairly new in the house. IFBB Pro. In the house. <laughs> in the house. Alicia Coates in the house with us today. IFBB Pro. We're excited. Uh, first, Our female, first female. Our first female competitor, and she is a pro, and she's... Home grown here in Arizona. Uh, so, with no further ado, Alicia Coates, come on in. Come on Thank in. You. Pleasure to have you on the show. Welcome Thank in. You. Thank you. Awesome. So, you know, I was checking you out a little bit earlier oh, yes. in, a, in a professional manner. Mm -hmm. And uh, I noticed that you used to skateboard. And, you know, you're into Sector 9. By the way, we're going to get with Sector 9. She needs to be on your calendar. She needs a free skateboard. She needs sponsorship. But, <laughs> anyways, in high school, you're a skateboard girl wearing no makeup, spiky hair, listening to Slipknot. Yes. And here you are, this glamour figure pro. Oh, yeah. How did that transition happen? Overnight, no. <laughs> totally not. Uh, I skateboarded in high school. I ran track and field. Um, my mom thought I was absolutely insane. She could not understand why I wanted spiky hair. I looked like Ryan Seacrest. She's like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. No one's going to marry you. I was okay with that. So I continued skateboarding, and I ran in college. And after some injuries, I got into weightlifting, and okay. two years later, I turned pro. So. Wow, and, and that's an interesting story because, sorry to cut you off. No, right, dude, I know. No, you're, I mean, your third show. My third show. You're an IFBB pro. It happened I mean, really fast. That, that's great. Well, time out. Yeah. Let's back this up just a second because... Before we get into the pro level and, uh, and, and even the bodybuilding, are you still skateboarding? I still skateboard. I haven't been to a skate park in almost two years. I was a little scared to get hurt sure. in training. But, um, yeah, I grew up at Encanto Skate Park. I went to Rio Vista on Thunderbird. Um, awesome. The last time I was there, my little brother broke his leg, and my mom forbid us to go back when we were there <laughs> the next weekend. Um, so, yeah, I still skateboard. So then what, and then in terms of, like, the bodybuilding and, 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 and this sport, what got you going there? What made you decide, hey, I want to start lifting weight? Because obviously you're lean and you have some muscle. I had a background so. in running. Um, I've always been built like, quote unquote, a black girl. I had a small <laughs> waist and a big butt and big legs. I didn't know what to do with it's it. So yeah, I fit in spandex only. Jeans were not my thing. Um, my waist was so tiny. So I don't know. I just I saw a magazine one day when I was at ASU and I saw this woman, Jennifer Nicole Lee, who's super known. And I thought, I want to look like her one day. So I contacted AZ Pro Physiques in Gilbert, which is where I train out of. And, and you're a personal trainer there, too. I'm a personal trainer there now, but then I wasn't. And um, started out with one of the best, and she knows who she is. And she, her and Damian Segovia and Whitney Jones, they brought me to this point. That's all awesome. I did a little research on you. Uh -huh. okay. I did my homework for this interview. It's research. <laughs> it's like, uh, what I read is that, you know, you don't judge a book by its cover. I'm not going to train you to look like me. And when I read that, yeah. I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, maybe I do want to look like you. So tell us about that. What's up with that? There's some women that are intimidated by um, how some female competitors look on competition preps. You know, we get really lean, we get vascular. I'm, I get very veiny. It's not the most attractive thing to a lot of ladies. So I remind them that they're not going to look like that. I love vascular. We're not gonna, you're not going to look like that just training with me. It takes years, dedication, hard work, you know, cardio, dieting. You have to be strict to get to where you were. When I started, I was nowhere near to where I look now. My before and after were ridiculous. So, you know, and if I meet a girl who says she wants to look like me, work your butt off and we'll get you there. Well, on that note, how much emphasis do you put on, or what percentage do you put on nutrition versus training? I mean, we have answers across the board. I mean, I have to honestly say for my body type, Nutrition and training are 50 50. I have to eat good and train just as hard. Well, and that's similar to the answer where it's, like it's all of one and it's all of the other. You yeah. can't take like 25 of just eating and 25 of, you know, the training. It's 100% in, yeah. in, in, in both categories. And it took, you know, it took me two years to be ready to step on stage. I was, I flaked out of so many shows. It was ridiculous. Three, four shows I told, you know, my trainer I wanted to do and pulled out of all of them until I did bikini in November. Yeah, let's talk about because you're a pro. I know. Bikini, <laughs> went from bikini to gain muscle for March here at Miles' of show in Mesa. And How'd he you do? came in third, <laughs> third place. I had, you know, a lady from the Masters Division beat me. And to me, mentally, I was like, never again. 
Right. I'm going to come out here there. with some muscle maturity. She was beautiful, but I... And you're 26. 26 years old. So in the grand scheme of things, you're very young. I am. Especially it, to be a pro. Yeah, I meet, I meet women who are who have family and children, and, you know, I, I'm not married, I don't have kids. They, right. They've been through a life, and they're pros, and it's amazing. Yeah. And I meet bikini girls who are, like, 19 who are turning pro, so it's, like, it's so different now. Sure. Well, what, like, what was the road to getting you to the to the IFBB? So it wasn't a long road, but there was a road getting you there. So sacrifice, a lot of sacrifice. Well, outside of that, yeah. just contest. Like, you only did a few shows. What did you do? A couple shows, like yeah, a normal show. Yeah. Like, so, how did you do um, They were really annoying at the Europa. Europa. You kept taking pictures. Never Natalie went. Waples, Jesse Gilbert <laughs> thought I was insane. I was so hyper. I'm always hyper. They think I'm nuts. Uh, uh, weren't they a little bit haters because you're eating all this food? And your diet I was eating and semi-normal, and they were eating tilapia and asparagus. They're right. so they're so disciplined, though. To them, it didn't bother them. I wish they were just bothered by how intensely hyper I am. Right. So, um, other than that, though, I qualified um, for bikini in November 2012 at Miles Western Regionals here in Mesa. Uh, Miles Nussel is, you know, he's awesome. He sure. puts on great shows. March 2013, I did figure, came in third, and my coach said. With it, let's go to nationals in Chicago. And I, That's without cool. without my parents, I would have never been able to go to Chicago. It's a lot of money to travel. This sport is very expensive. Yes. Um, you have to have a good support system. Yeah. So my yes. mom and dad helped me fly me there. And I remember my mom told me, I'll never forget it. She's like, you better get your shit together. And so when I went there, I was like, it's on. I got my shit is together. I'm right. win. Right. And I won. Nice. You one class and then got your pro card out of that. Got my pro card and congratulations. Thank take, you. take us through, um, you know, because I've been on the national stage. That wasn't the first call out, but tell us about the first call out, getting out there, moving you to the center, and then you know when did it really set in? Because when you got your pro card, yeah. you didn't you didn't feel like a pro until you put that Arizona Pro Physiques shirt on. That's that said, show, I have baby pro. It did not hit me. I think the thing is when you go to a national show, you see so many girls who are just as hungry as you are. Right. It doesn't matter where they're from, how old they are. We're all there for one reason. Right. We know that we're all at a high level. We worked hard. We dieted hard. We were committed for how many weeks? Twelve weeks, typically. We go on stage and we know that it's what the judges are looking for. Sure. And I was lucky to have a judge who loved my look. I'm not the biggest girl on stage. I don't have the most mass. You know, um, natural here, I have short hair, I'm not very typical when it comes to the realm of fitness and what the majority of girls look like, nothing against women with long hair and big boobs, but I didn't think I would manage to last a But I think that, that like. transition is you look in the magazines and, and, and that look is there still, you know yeah. what I mean, and I think it's becoming a little bit more mainstream and, and because I think you have a remarkable really look, Thank you. and I think that that's probably why you know, you're doing so well in that, in that area. She sponsored it, people. Sanitized, hooked me up very well. That's awesome. Man. But I think when I went to a national realm, I met females that were all other level. So right. it is extremely intimidating. You go on stage and mentally you have to pose right, look right, smile right, be right, your makeup's right. And first call outs, when they brought me out there, our call out was the longest call out. We were probably posing for almost four minutes. We called. Turn, turn, quarter, turn, quarter, quarter, turn. How did you start off? Like what? I was at the very end, and, and then they the grew me in. in to the middle, and the last call was middle, and I thought I was going to pass out. We had been posing for so long, we were all sweating. But that is such a good feeling when you get moved to the middle. Exactly. It, it, it is. You're up there, you're like this. Well, you know what? I thought to myself, I'm, I'm in last place over here. That's awesome. First national show, I get fit. Great. I go back to the drawing board with my coach and start over. Right. I'll be at USA's. I'll be at Team U. You know, I had all summer to do shows. Right. And when I... Got put in the middle. I'm like, what the heck? Well, and it just you don't even know if you're getting first place. Well, but it just goes to say, too, yeah. that, you know, you never know until, because everyone's like, oh, that person looks so good. You never know until they're on stage. And then you start to see well, you get have, compared. Everybody looks great by themselves, the best in the world. You're, but, you know. you're following your Twitter feed and you're seeing, you know, <laughs> Muscle Phone, Isaac Hines, he's right, you know, this girl's going to be overall, this girl's going to win right. the class. So you're filled in your head like, and you're going to sleep like, please God, let me be right. And when I went on class, I was like, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And uh, I mean, are you normal? Because you seem pretty normal. I'm pretty typical, yeah. I would say, yeah. Because you got to be a little crazy to be, you know, an IFP. To do all this. Yeah. But I, I mean, am a little nuts because when I start to prep, I cream everything from under the sun. Donuts, in and out burger. <laughs> I talk about that. Anyone asks me, I love to eat. You get your daily, you get your weekly uh, I get my pop tarts. I get my weekly animal style burger and fries. My right. coach thinks I'm a total... Butt, and you are an Arizona Pro Physique, but who is your official? Damian, who is your? Damian's my Damian? official prep coach, yes. He yeah. takes curl team, AZ Pro. He has Candace Lewis underneath him, Natalia Mello. He has, you know, some of the great right. pros underneath you guys him. Are cranking. Wow. He really I have is. A, he is, yeah. I have a question for you. And, and, and this, I think, is like what we talked about before. Um, you know, with women, it's a kind of a different perspective than, than the guys, you know. But we always go back to that when women come off of their contests. And that quote unquote rebound effect. Yeah. How, how do you deal with it? Like, what, if, what's the best advice you would give to a woman that's watching this? Is, is like, has maybe been through a show, yeah. dealt with the rebound? Some, some Great people, question, Mike. Hey, thank you. I, exactly. <laughs> I feel like I've met a lot of girls who get done with shows and they, like, for me, I had shows in a row, so I needed to stay consistent. And now being pro, I can't really fall off that wagon. I need to be in a five pound range of being in prep. Demos. Demos, modeling, but for the girls who do have issues, I just have to say, stay motivated. Don't let everything fall off. Don't right. stop all cardio. Don't stop lifting. Don't start drinking right away again. Don't start eating all the goods again. You have to. Everything has to be in moderation, obviously. Yeah, sure. Just to be in semi good shape. But there are girls that have a lot of issues now. I've met so many females with thyroid issues. Or um, adaptations is what they call it. They, yeah. they get out. They they go out and eat pizza. They drink. They do what they're gonna do. And now your body only has a certain amount of fat cells, but if you do that right after a show, your yeah. body will actually make more. And so what you're saying is to take your time. You have to you moderate everything that's coming back. Introduce, like, I have to reintroduce yogurt in my diet, like dairies. There's a lot of things we don't do for 12 weeks. We, we forget what it's like to eat things. Right. So you eat that for the first time. If I have a burger with a lot of cheese on it, I'm going to be extremely sick. I'm not used to that. So, yeah, it has to be slow introductions. Right. I think, I've, you know, obviously a lot of girls have, have weight issues. I've been blessed and fortunate enough that I haven't been down that road, and who knows if I will. Um, but right now I've been pretty consistent. My guess is probably not. Pretty consistent with my <laughs> diet, but I train females that have that issue. Yeah, so. Right. And you, you said you're, obviously you're taking care of yourself, you know what you're doing, and, uh, and the, the homework I did on you, you're really into your supplements. I mean, you're, yeah. you're taking... You're, relig you're religious about that, so tell the people about how important you, you know, you you're, have to you're supplement. losing your cheese, you're losing the dairy, all these things that you're not eating, so you got to get just, that from somewhere. Just right? food in general now just isn't filled with the right nutrition and nutrients as it used to be. Our vegetables, our meats, everything has something in it, preservative, our vegetables come from, you know, wherever they right. come from, they've lost a lot of nutrients. You, we supplement our diet for a reason. Sure. We have to have the multi and the fish oil. If you're not getting enough fish, you're not getting the right oils. Take you're not getting enough veggies. You're not getting the right fiber, iron. And that's when women feel tired, weak, sick. Right. They get more sick. They're prone to injury. You know, we supplement for a reason. We don't just take all these pills to, to look pretty well. You know. Right, right, right. But, you know, balance, people. Balance. Yeah. So if someone wants to train with you and they go to Arizona Pro Physiques and say, I want to train with Alicia. I want to train with Alicia and become available. Most, most likely, you know, I'll be there for you and we can train, yeah. But if you're busy, is there a support system to where there is. can cover you, but you're still really the trainer? I am. He. What it happens at Easy Pro is there's a lot of pros who work there. There's a lot of trainers who are unbelievably amazing competitors outside of competing. They're great trainers. You know, the majority of them went to college for this. They, you know, they've been trainers for over five plus years. Sure. Um, so, yeah, if, if one of us isn't available to take on a girl, the next lady you're going to go to is just as amazing as I am. She just might not have pro in front of her name, but she's an amazing trainer. So, yeah, I think we're all pretty, you know, evil. You know, they're you evil. Yeah. Well, you guys all, I mean, hopefully... You guys all have the same philosophy because yeah. if you're at Arizona Pro Physiques, that's going to be a little different than what you find over there. We all torture you the same, so. <laughs> right, there it is. It's all going to be torture. <laughs> it's all torture. It's so, same. so, what's next for the champ, the new IFPB Pro? What's next with your Prep, pro show? Alicia Romero Pro Classic here. Home all right. My mom all told right. me if I didn't do this show, she would kill me. So, Mother, I'm doing the show for you. So she can, <laughs> scare that mom. So, she can come to the show because she hasn't done any of my shows that's, yet. So. Uh, that's speaking cool. of that, your family and being here. Uh, there's probably a lot of people that you have supporting you. Absolutely. I went to St. Mary's High School, you know, the local school here. I went to Arizona State. All my friends awesome. are here. So, you know, my parents, my relatives were all famous. So, 
But you so can't do it alone. Yeah. You, you, can, you would never be a pro right now if you didn't have the support system from your family, friends. My boyfriend helps me prep everything. He's my cook. You know, he's a huge support system. He's been there since day one, since before my first show. So he's seen this world change, you know, a total 181. Sure. So turning from an NPC competitor to a pro, it, we, they, they are different levels. Completely. So, Completely, 100%. So, so how does it feel to be an IFTV pro? It hasn't hit me. <laughs> when I walk on stage with all the good girls that still remember the big girls, then it's going to hit me, but it hasn't hit me yet. You know, and I, t I said at the beginning of the interview or a minute ago that she seemed really normal. Well, there's proof right there. I mean, how does it feel to be a pro? I don't know. I'm sick. extremely normal. I'm so nervous right now. I'm sweating in my sports bra. I'm extremely normal. You can probably see the sweat marks in this video. So <laughs> Before he embarrasses me, I'm going to bring that up. That's right. That's right. Well, how, long, that out. how long do people get a hold of you? Do you have a website? You have... My website is going to be released soon. I haven't made a domain for it right now. I have a website. It's smartstartaz.com. I'm on there. My information's on there to contact me. I am on Easy Pro Physique's website, cool. easyprophysiques.com. My bio's on there. All Which, my where training. is Easy Pro Physique's located? Uh, Gilbert and Ray. Gilbert so, and Ray. Far East Side. I do online training, competition prep. Um, in the West Valley, I have a few clients still here. I hold boot camps. Very cool. For the most part, I, I'm located out there, and I'm starting to help girls do shows. I have a few bikini girls this November, so. Yeah. And Alicia doesn't just train girls for shows, or where you train guys, too. But I train, I have a male client. I have a female clients. I've, my majority of experience is 55 and plus adults. I've, I've trained a lot of So you do clients. train outside of this, the, oh, the, yeah. the, the bodybuilding AZ Pro Physics is the most recent. I've been a trainer for seven years. Before oh, okay. that, I cool. worked at female gyms, only women gyms, sure. and trained women much older than me. So, so it's no accident that you're a pro. That's yeah. right. No. Exactly. Yeah. So, is there an overall title that you would get as a pro? Is there an overall, like, if the pro show they have here, would you just win your class or would you actually go down to an overall? You do, you, right? We walk on stages all one class, yeah, and they call us out for call outs. So. Oh, so it, actually there is no classes. No I'm classes. We're all overall. You That's just right. walk out, they look at you. No matter the short, out. tall, high, nothing. I'm huh? going to be against girls way taller and way smaller. Wow. And we just all Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. That's what makes it a little more. And what right. were you? Like, yeah. Were you in the C class then? I was D. Five, were, a five, five and a quarter. I have really big shoes on right now. Spikes. Check so. these things out. I know. These suckers are crazy. Don't mess with her or touch her weight. I have a sidekick. <laughs> sidekick. Take this you is out. to protect yourself during our interview. So, yeah. so I can't wait to get you, get you a skateboard, and uh, I'd love to see you. I wish you would have told me. We could have brought the video outside. I would have brought my longboard. We would have been skateboarding. Yeah. And so, you know, I got into skate like snowboarding from skateboarding. Yeah. I could take a hill and just carve that thing like a snowboard. I've been in a lot of bad accidents. I skateboarded in Squaw Peak Mountain. Oh, wow. And ended up in the emergency room. That was a great, great day. That's why I don't ride my skateboard anymore. The doctor thought I was in a motorcycle accident. That's how severe I looked. It was that bad. Wow. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, you have to have nice skin on stage. You know, like, this you know, whole was, side of my body was gone. Yeah. yeah I was wrapped in saran wrap and Vaseline for weeks. Wow. <laughs> no, it was thank horrible. You. Okay. Do us a favor and stay off the skateboard I for will. now. Okay. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be happening anytime <laughs> soon. How no, many weeks out is the show? It's is it about ten. About ten, 10 weeks out. So you are in prep right now. I am in prep. Nice. Very I nice. need to get a little bigger and stay full and sure. keep the tummy small and keep the legs tight. And yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, you're well on your way. Thank is you. there anybody else that you would like to thank uh, before we get out of here? My family, my mom and dad, they supported me through a lot. So, and I never shout them out enough. But without them, this sport wouldn't have really happened for me. So. Yeah. My dreams are coming true. That's awesome. That's, that's and Diamond Ties, thank you for bringing me on. And I appreciate it a ton. You know, I'm going to work my butt off. Diamond Ties Nutrition. So. They got great stuff. No, other yep. than that, I thank you guys for bringing me here. Hey. Oh, dude, it's awesome. Have have Facebook is great networking, people. It really so, is. Thank well, I always say, if you're, if you're not networking, you have no net worth. That's, so, right. uh, exactly. that's what it's all about. And we do, uh, we'll have her on after uh, after the show. We'll see where the placings went. Um, that's it. Top yeah. three. I ain't got a whole lot. Top three. Yeah. Mike Best. Alicia Coates, IFBB Pro, Vincent VJ Hills on the Mike and V Bodybuilding Show, platform for all bodybuilders. Thanks for watching. We're out. Rock. Thanks, guys.